and I'm here with a, a problem child. Basically, this is my mother of millions and mother of thousands cow and coli plants, and they've gotten very stretched out. This happened from them being in a cold frame all winter, and it didn't get that much sun. Please just take a look at what these plants should look like. So what I'm here to do is just to cut this back. But and um, I have Miracle Grow here mixed with Paralite, and I have a bunch of um, growers pots that I've already cleaned. And I'm just going to be taking pieces of this and so putting I'm them in I'm going to start here. with these scissors, which are relatively clean. And I'm going to start just cutting pieces of this. I watered it about a week ago. So it's really, really full. And I'm going to remove the tip. I think this might be the mother of millions. I'm not sure. I always get them mixed up. But first cut okay so I've just removed the top portion of this and I'm going to remove the lower leaves and the soil is really dry and like I said I watered it like a week ago so I'm just going to stick it directly into the soil a good amount of soil in there and let's get another one it's pretty large to my next cut and I want this one to be pretty large because I actually don't want to end up with a million of these so there we go so now I have another piece that's about four inches and I'm going to remove the lower leaves And then I'm just gonna put a little hole in here and put this down in there. And that will grow seeds and take root pretty well, it should. I mean, not um, grow seeds, but that should grow roots and be fine. Um, add a little more soil in this pot. So I'm going to cut this here. And now I've removed this section that's pretty large. So what I'm going to do, and these have a lot of plantlets on them as well, which is a good thing if you're trying to grow a lot of them. But I'm just going to go in and try to not knock them all off. I'm going to remove the lower leaves. So then I'm just going to stick this in here as far as I can, hopefully without knocking off any more plantlets. And that is 
what I'm left with for and that. And now, that's how that's looking for now, which actually looks really good. I'll lay these gently down here. And, okay, so that looks pretty good. So the next part is cleaning this one up. I kind of want to do the same thing that I did with the first one, which is just cut it down. Being careful to try not to dislodge the plantlets and then leave about an inch worth of stem on there. So what I'm gonna do is start with my first top cutting. And this one I want to be pretty long so that I can get it really anchored in there well. And that means that I will have to remove this leaf, a couple of these leaves at the bottom. So I'm just trying to be careful. I have that in there and I'm gonna lay it in a different area. And just, you know, carefully remove some of these. The good thing about it having been watered is that regardless of how long it takes to put out roots, it'll have plenty of water to keep itself alive and also to take care of any plant babies that are on the roots, that are on the stems. So that's good. Okay, so I have four laying here and then I have this piece. And I um, and that'll leave me a good amount of stem to bury in here. There'll be at least two nodes completely buried in the soil. So what I'm going to do is place this one near where um, the mother plant is still sitting, and I'm just going to dig that in there and move the soil in a little bit just to make sure it's nice and stationary and then i'm gonna prep another grower's pot for my next piece okay and put a little hole in there then i'm gonna go back to the mother plant I said I only wanted about an inch of stem, so the, I have about an inch and a half. That should be on my other piece, so here we go. All right, and we got a nice, pretty clean cut. Um, I can twist these little leaves off. I'm not worried if they're not removed perfectly. And then, um, because normally I would remove these two bottom leaves, but they both have a lot of babies on there. And I'm not a bad person, so I'm just going to leave that on there and stick this in this soil just like this. These won't be getting watered anytime soon. All right. So, but they should be fine there. And then here, this stem has a couple of leaves left on it. I'm gonna leave them there so that it'll help um, soak up the sun. And then this one's leaning a little bit. So if it's standing up, you've done your job. So I'm just gonna go back in and put a little bit of pressure on it. And that should be it. Maybe just whenever the next time is that I feel I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of water. But this is what I have now. And I have two of these that are really full. And I have one of these here. And let's see what else. Yeah. And I have an extra little baby down here. So I'm just going to stick them right back in the pot and all of this will be Thank composted. you for checking in with one of my little 
plant maintenance projects and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!